Ethan, please, you have to come to Rome with me. Your sister is in danger. Teresa, you have all the resources of Crane Security to help you. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't know who I can trust. I mean, they're, they're still loyal to Alistair. Then call the, the Rome Police Department. That is if Jessica's really in danger. Teresa, I told you, call Sam. He's the police chief. He's also Jessica's father, OK? And I know he can get Interpol involved. All right, but I'm not going to leave my family and go to Rome. OK, what about Noah? Noah's there. He's your brother. I mean, don't you care what happens Teresa, to him? Teresa, you don't need me. You probably don't even need to go yourself, OK? Just let people who know what they're doing get involved. This is just another one of her schemes to get you away from No, me. it's not, I swear. Teresa, I'm very sorry. I'm staying here with my wife and my daughter. What are you going to do? They're pointing guns at us. What do you think they're going to do? I guess we should have expected this when we let them blindfold us and bring us here. I didn't expect them to shoot us. Hey, hey you said you were going to give us answers about the missing paintings. Look, th th there's the symbol. Isn't that one of the paintings? No one's supposed to know that painting is here. Ah! No, no, you are wrong. Whitney is not dead. It can't be true. Now, where is she? I can see it. She's gone. The innocent one is dead. I told you, Whitney, if you were to escape the evil of lust for your brother, one of you would have to die. You or Chad. You chose to be the one. Remind me to cut Beth out of this picture. I wonder if Luis is having any luck finding her and Marty. I'm sure he'll call if he has any news at all. Maybe I should call him. And not knowing if he's all right is just killing me. Are you uh, talking about Marty or Luis? Both, of course. Of course. Sheridan, I know you've told Luis that it's over between you and that you're staying married to me. But are you? What? I mean, have you changed your mind? If Luis finds Marty, do you still want to be with me? Chris, you are my husband. I'm carrying your child. Nothing's going to change that. I love you so much. I don't know what I would do if I ever had to lose you. Talk about a coincidence, meeting someone from New England, where I come from, but someone who's going through the same pain over a man as I am. <sighs> it is amazing. I just hope your husband drops the other woman and you can get back together. Oh, well, I hope that you get rid of the other woman in your man's life, too. Oh, uh, I've given up on my relationship. He's definitely given up on me because of this other woman. Oh, I'm so sorry. So am I. Maybe Fancy ran into someone she knows. Nah, it wouldn't surprise me. She has friends all over the world. Yeah, well, let's see who she's talking to. No, you are wrong, okay? Whitney's not dead. Whitney's part of me, okay? She's in my soul. I would know it if something happened to her. Tell me, son, where are we? What? Where are we? We're on our way to the church where you said Whitney was in danger. You said she was dead. Yes. I felt the icy fingers of death grab on my heart. Well, you know what? I didn't feel it. I didn't feel a damn thing. Okay, so Whitney's not dead. We've got to get to the church and help her. What happened? I'm not dead and I'm bleeding. It is nothing. Nothing, Whitney. 
Tell me. Explain. You were willing to sacrifice yourself to save Chad. Yes. And you were going to kill me. Why didn't you? Do you remember the story of Abraham? Abraham's ready to offer his own son to God in sacrifice because that's what he thought God wanted. But just the sincere offer of sacrifice was enough to please God. And so he spared the life of Abraham's son, just as your life was spared, Whitney. But the sin, the sin is still on my soul. I still love Chad. Yes, but if you resist temptation, you will be given God's grace. And remember, if you find that chalice in the Pope's private quarters, your sins will be forgiven. You know, I tried. You know, I tried with the virtual reality headgear. I just, I just don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Whitney, we must not give up. I wish for you to pray for guidance. Pray, Whitney. God will help find a way. Pray. Whitney? Whitney? You in here? Please, Whitney, be all right. It's me, Chad. Where are you? Oh, Chad. I am here. And I need you so much right now. Sheridan, I'm gonna uh, take this outside, okay? I'll be here, man. Okay. Sheridan, hey, everything okay? I'm fine. How are you? Have you had any luck finding Beth and Marty? Uh, no, not yet, but I'm meeting with the bank executives tomorrow morning, and I'm sure I'm gonna get a lead on where Beth and Marty are living. Oh, sweetie, you wanna go to the bathroom? Okay, um, we'll be right back. All right. Okay. And Fancy, uh... Go away, Noah. Look, we need to talk, all right? I need you to understand. I understand perfectly. You're a bastard. Okay. Um, so, uh... Oh, who were you talking to before? Is that, uh, another one of your old friends, or...? No. As a matter of fact, we just met, but she and I have a lot in common. Huh. Mm -hmm. We're both involved with men who cheat and lie. Fancy, I have never cheated on you. No? I saw you in bed with Maya. What do you call it? And then, like a fool, I take you back, and what do you do? You take me to bed, and then you run back to your slut. Fancy, Don't I... Don't speak. Wait. What is Louise doing here? He's in no shape to be moving around. He's fine. Chad's fine. I'm fine. I didn't ask about you. I'm gonna go see if Louise is all right. Damn it. Fancy, I can't tell you the truth without putting your life in danger. I need to take a walk, clear my head. Yeah, Chad's over here looking for Whitney. In fact, we were down in the catacombs when the ceiling caved in on us. Oh my God, are you all right? Uh, I'm sorry, the coffee's taking so long, but you should have waited for me at the fountain. You're still weak. I'm fine. Yeah, guess who else is here? Your niece, Fancy. Fancy's there too? Yeah. And so is Noah. In fact, they found us when Chad and I were buried in the rubble. But everyone's all right now. Amazing, but yeah. Uh, Louise, can I talk to Sheridan? Um, Fancy wants to talk to you. Aunt Sheridan, hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Louise told me you were down in the catacombs too. It's a miracle everyone's okay. I know, it was amazing. Louise and Chad were actually buried, so we helped them out and after we got Luis and Chad out of the rubble, we heard this rumbling, and it looked like the whole place was gonna collapse on us, so we started running, and something fell and hit me in the head, and I was knocked down, but Luis picked me up and carried me out. He's such a hero, Sheridan. Of course, you already knew that. <laughs> yes, I knew that. 
Um, oh, I almost forgot when we were pulling Luis out of the rubble, um, he was all groggy and beat up and he looked at me and he thought I was you. So he kissed me. Luis kissed you? Really kissed me. <laughs> Funny, huh? Oh, I wonder where our friend went, sweetie. Ma dove è andata la tua amica? La sua bevanda è pronta. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, she's outside. Uh, maybe we should take her coffee to her, huh? Okay. New Daily News. Signora, la tua bevanda è pronta. Oh, okay. Well, I guess... She'll come back in for her coffee. I don't know why I'm telling you this, Aunt Sheridan. I guess I just wanted you to know that Luis still loves you. And from that kiss he gave me, he still loves you a lot. Yes. I believe you. What's important is that Luis is all right. Yeah, he's okay. He just has a few cuts and bruises, but I took care of him. Anyway, um, I'd better let him have his phone, so I'll see you when I get back to Harmony. Here's Luis. I'm gonna go get the car. Small world, huh? Tell you, I think half of Harmony's here in Rome. Yeah, small world. So is Marty there with Beth? Well, I'll know in the morning if the money from Alistair's account is going to Beth. All right, let me know right away. I will. Sheridan, I'm telling you, I've got a good feeling about this. In fact, my gut is telling me that Beth and Marty are closer than they've ever been. Ethan, please. My baby sister is in terrible danger. Which has nothing to do with Ethan. Teresa, she's your sister. Let your brother take care of it. No, Luis has got his hands full, okay? And what about Jessica? She's your sister. Don't you care that she's in trouble? Of course I care, Teresa. I just don't see what I can do. All right, if you don't want to call Sam, call Luis. Let the Italian police handle it. She doesn't give a damn about your sister. Frankly, she doesn't give a damn about her own sister, because this is just another one of her harebrained schemes to get you alone with her. Now how can you say that, Gwen? You saw the reports from Crane Security even verify that they were authentic. Teresa, if this is true, and if, and if Paloma and Jessica really are in trouble, then you have plenty of people you can call on over there to help you. You do not need Ethan. No, I do need Ethan. My brother is searching for his son in Rome, and he's trying to help Chad find Whitney. Ethan and I can focus on finding the girls. Ethan, we can help them. You've got to come with me, please. He is not going anywhere with you. Ethan is going to stay right here where he belongs with his wife and his daughter. Excuse me. I have an email. Oh, my God. What is it? What? It's a picture. And it's, it's, um, it's Paloma, it's Simone, it's Jessica, and they're, they're blindfolded, Ethan, and they're what? being forced to go somewhere by two large men. What the hell is going on here? Uh, an undercover agent just sent that photo. Ethan, don't you get it? Don't you get it? We have got to go to Rome. You've got to come with me right now. We don't know what kind of trouble our sisters are in. to protect the secret of the painting. Ethan, how do we even know this is real? You know, Teresa could have rigged this picture herself. Why don't you just read the message, Gwen? It's from Crane Security. See, they, they were following Paloma. They were hoping to protect her. And, and this, this is the last that they saw of her. Okay, I think she's lying. You know how she lies. Ethan, I'm telling you the truth. Please come to Rome with me. Jessica, Paloma, and Simone are in terrible danger. Please come with me now.
Are you all right? I am sorry. We didn't mean to scare you. We just didn't have any time to warn you. That you were going to start shooting at us? We weren't shooting at you. Then who? The men who were trying to steal the painting. What? They? they were burglars. They came from the roof. See the hole they cut? So they came to steal that painting? Of course. How did you know they were in the closet? We had a thin wire position to show us if the door were opened. Apparently, we surprised them. So they hid. I'd say they were definitely surprised. You girls, stay put. We'll be right back. Now, are you going to leave us here with them? No, we'll take them with us. Oh my god, we have to get out of here. If those guys come back, they they could think that we're trying to steal the painting too. But we're not. Maybe we should. Okay. What the this is one of the missing paintings that have the symbol on it. Just like the one that's tattooed on your back and the one that we found under Whitney's mattress. This could be the key to finding my sister. I don't know, Simone. Let's just go to the police. No, no, no. That won't work. The police could be part of this whole thing, too. Um, I think Simone's right. We, we can't give up. Not until we know that Whitney's safe. Whitney? You said she was here, right? Hmm. Was your antenna pointing in the right direction? Okay, close that date. And then what? Did, um, did you have any more vibes? Uh, any premonitions that she's still here? And, and don't tell me she's dead, because I know she's not. You I hear? believe I make a mistake. I saw death, I felt it, but it is no longer there. See, I told you. Whitney and I are so connected, so bound by love, there's no way she could die without me knowing it. She is your half-sister, no? Yeah. Yeah, we... We fell in love before we knew. Hmm. But my love for her hasn't changed. I mean, I know the world thinks it's wrong, but I don't care. I love her. I mean, Whitney is the only woman I'll ever love. And I don't care if we... if we can't be lovers, I just... I just want her in my life, you know, in my son's life. And I'm not going to stop until I find a way to make that happen. You have to give up on me, Chad. If you don't, you'll destroy us both. Grazie. Non ci fa niente, signora Bella. Oh, these Italians. Flirting is like breathing to them. <laughs> oh, we were going to bring the coffee out to you. Oh, how nice of you. Um, actually, my ex was here and I was avoiding him. Oh, he was here? Yes. I thought I was over him, but it still hurts. Yeah, I know the feeling. He was the first man I ever really, truly loved. And even after I caught him with another woman, I was willing to listen to him when he said he loved me, but... Then I caught him again with the same woman. You know, that is exactly what happened to me. My husband couldn't decide who he wanted to be with, me or this other woman, blonde witch. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I, I have a feeling that you and I are going to be with the men that we love eventually. In fact, very soon. Really? Mm -hmm. I wish I was so confident. Anyway, it was nice talking to you, and I truly hope you and your husband find your way back together. Thanks. I hope the same for you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 You want to go to the fountain? Okay. Okay, let's go. Say bye. 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 Oh, bye. look. Marty, there's our new friend. She's talking to a man at the fountain. Maybe that's her ex, huh? Let's go see. No, I swear to you, Sheridan, I am not coming home without Marty. I'm telling you, I'm on the right track here. Oh, thanks, Fancy. She just brought me some coffee. All right. Well, go ahead and have your coffee. Call me as soon as you have some news, all right? Of course. I love you. 
I know. I'll talk to you soon. Is everything all right? Yeah, well, I, I guess everything's all right now. They had a terrible experience. Luis and Chad, I mean. What happened? They were down in the catacombs and the roof collapsed. They were buried alive. Thank God Fancy and Noah came along and dug them out. But they're all right now, right? Louis said that they're all right. <laughs> Funny thing happened, though. I guess when Fancy dug Louise out of the rubble, he was all disoriented and he thought that she was me, so he kissed her. Apparently it was a pretty passionate kiss. Does that bother you? That he thought that Fancy was you? No. Why would it bother me? I mean, it, I'm sure it's a natural mistake. Sharon, are you, uh, are you jealous of Fancy? Because she's in Rome with Luis and you're stuck here with me? No, someday when this nightmare is all over, I'm gonna bring Sheridan back here. <laughs> this city, it's so beautiful. It's so romantic. Do you really think she'll leave her husband? Oh, I know she will. If I can bring Marty back to her. Look, the only problem we have is her crazy sister kidnapped our son. Well, that's certainly a better reason to have problems than mine. My relationship is over because of another woman. Mm. And this woman I met in the cafe was having the same problem. Look, I hope that you and Noah are able to work things out. I can tell you really care about him. If I didn't care, it wouldn't hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I've got to admit, it uh, stings a little that Sheridan's married to another man. But I know as soon as I find Marty, all our problems will be over. Get out. Get out. It's late, and Ethan already told you he's not going to go on some wild goose chase with you. Ethan, please come to Rome with me, please. Our sisters are in danger. I know we can help them, please. I am begging you, come with me, please. I'm sorry. I can't go. I have to stay here. No, Ethan, please. I said, look, I have every confidence in the world that Crane Security is going to handle the situation. I told you I'll call Sam personally. I know he can contact the Italian police, the Interpol, if necessary. But there's nothing you and I can do personally to help this situation. Fine. You know what? I hope you can live with yourself if something terrible happens to Jessica. You did the right thing, honey. I hope you know that this is just another one of her tired schemes, OK? It's just a scheme to get you away from me. I hope you're right about that. Please tell me you didn't believe a word she said. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I know where to find out. I know a guy at Crane Security. He's a guy I trust. I'm going to call him and see if there's anything to Teresa's story. What are you doing? Now, I hope that you weren't trying to take a look at the painting? Uh, no, uh, uh, we were just trying to see the little symbol on the corner. Yeah, it, it's the same as the tattoo on Jessica's back. Yeah, we were just trying to figure out what it all means. It's a shame. Three young, beautiful women. What a waste. See, but if they get too smart and figure out the secret behind the painting, They'll all have to die. <sighs> uh, fancy. Hey, hey. Can, can we please go someplace and talk? I have no interest in what you have to say to me, Noah, so just leave me alone. Luis, I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. You too, Fancy. Fancy, wait. Hey, don't let her go. Look, if you love her, you gotta make her understand. Go, do anything you can. Yeah, I, I will. Thanks, Luis. All right. Would you go? <laughs> All right. Fancy! 
Oh, man, I am beat up. Better walk this off. I'm not going to be able to move tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, I guess our new friend left, Marty. Oh, well. Well, you better get your shoes off if you're going to get in the fountain, right? Give me one. I wish that girl hadn't left. I get so lonely sometimes with no one to talk to, but I can't make friends here in Rome. It's too dangerous. It's okay. It's worth it. As long as I get to keep my little boy away from Sheridan. Right? Today. Whitney, if you're here, let me know. I know you're in trouble. I want to help. OK, she's not here, sister. Any other ideas? No, no, I'm sorry, my son. <sighs> well, I still think she's near. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look in the back. Maybe she's in the rectory. Thank you so much. I didn't want you had to find me. Oh, oh your arm. It's bleeding. What's happened, Carissima? It's not that bad. It's my heart that's hurting. My heart is breaking. I know. You want to sacrifice yourself, no? You want to die? No. I don't want to die. I, I had to choose between letting Chad die or dying myself. Of course I chose myself. You are not being told the truth, Whitney. You must be very careful. I, I'm sorry, I just don't know what you're talking about. You are lied to, Carissima. Oh, Per Piacere, please. Know who you can trust. Statenti. Be careful. All is not as it appears. Don't do that. You're not allowed to look at the painting. But why? You said you brought us here to teach us. How can we learn anything if we can't look at the painting? Look, we told you earlier, it's a process. Information will be revealed to you, but in stages. Oh, OK. Right. Relax, ladies. We have to wait. Wait for what? You'll be told in time. We're going to have some wine. Listen, I don't think that we can wait. We need answers now if we're going to be able to find Whitney and help her. Yeah, and we need to know what Alistair's done. So what should we do? I have an idea. So what did he say? He said Teresa's telling the truth. An undercover agent who was keeping an eye on Paloma actually took that picture of the girls being blindfolded and taken to God knows where, and then he lost them. Oh, my God. Honey, I don't like this. I think those girls are in a lot of danger. Even this is terrible. Yeah. You know what? Um, look, I changed my mind. I think you should go to Rome. You do? Yes. Jessica is your sister, and you're not going to be able to sleep worrying that she's in trouble. All right, now listen, I don't want you to worry either. I, I mean, what about Jane? I mean, who's going to take care of her while you work? I'll call Mrs. Henderson. Are you, sh are you sure about this? Because I know what's going on in your mind. You're thinking that she's going to try to seduce oh, me I or something. Oh, I know she's going to try to seduce you. But I trust you. Good. Because I love you. I love only you. I hope so. You know I love you, don't you know that? I do. But Ethan, I also know that you still have feelings for Teresa. Why or how you can have feelings for that piranha, I don't know. But I, I need you to promise me something. Anything. OK. If you decide to sleep with her. Oh, Gwen, come Ethan, on. Ethan, if you decide to leave me for her, then you need to let me know first. Honey, it's not going to happen, well, all right? Well, it has happened before. 
I know this, and I'm sorry. Please just promise me that I'll be the first to know. Gwen, just promise me. I'm not going to leave you for Teresa or any other woman. Ethan, you need to promise me. Promise me. All right. I promise you. Okay, then. Guess you better get packing. Hello? Sheridan, it's me. Police, are you all right? Do you have a lead on finding Marty? No, I just... just needed to hear your voice again. Oh. Sheridan, I love you so much, and I'm telling you, I am gonna find him. I'm gonna find Marty, and we're gonna be together again as a family. You, me, and Marty. Look, I know that you are afraid to even hope especially after all this time. But I'm telling you, Sheridan, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find our son. I'm going to find Marty. Who said Marty? Not that man. That man? Daytime. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. Who was lying to me? And who are you? What name? I'm Looked in the back. Look, sister, you said she was in this church, mm. that you were certain she was in danger. Mm. Is that the truth? I did not lie to you, my son. The innocent one was in danger. Was? Mm. So she's OK now? Yes. She is all right, uh, how do you say in English, uh, physically. <sighs> Thank God. Mm. She's not in here. Look, I'm gonna um, look outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of the shop owners out there saw her around. Whitney! Oh. Oh. God. Whitney! You have had sufficient time to cleanse your soul. It is time for us to go. And Whitney, no more games. We have a job to do with no time to waste. Remember, if you fail, you and Shad, perhaps both, will pay the ultimate price. Ethan, to uh, come to Rome with me. We'd be alone together, away from his vicious wife. Yeah. Um, Captain, you can prepare for takeoff when you're ready. The other passenger is not coming. Listen, uh, Teresa, Teresa, yes. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here for Jessica's sake. Of I'm, I'm, I'm not here so you and I can be together, you understand? No, but, but you, you mean you, you are here, though. You're, getting, you're here, you're here with me. Yeah. This is awesome. So, okay, Jess, you know what to do. Okay, I'm on it. You know, Rosh, I mean, okay, I don't. Hey. I was wondering if you guys could do me a favor. Possibly. With what? Look at my tattoo again, and tell me if you think it's exactly the same symbol as the one on the painting. My friends are having an argument about it. 
Well, what do you think? Io penso che è veramente bellissimo. Infatti, volevo dire che si è, sembra molto È una rotunda così. Sì, e sì, dopo sì. Si è molto. Bellissima. Hey, what are you doing? After them. Fancy, don't walk away from me. Oh, stop following me. Fancy, look, you are the only woman that I love. Okay, believe me. Leave me alone, Noah. I don't love you. I never want to see you again. Just stay away from me. Sheridan, I know that you married Chris because you thought I was dead, but I'm alive. Okay, and once I find Marty, you and I are going to be back together. Luis. Listen to me. I want more than anything in the world for you to find our son. But if you do find him, that doesn't mean that you and I are getting back together. I'm married to Chris now, and I'm staying married to him, and you know that. Well, all I know is that once I bring Marty back, you and I are going to be together. Well, maybe we should go ask that man why he said Marty. Maybe he has a little boy named Marty, too. Come on. Look, Sheridan, I know that you're in a terrible situation and that you don't want to hurt Chris. But once I find Marty and bring him back, Chris is going to have to realize that your marriage is a mistake and that you and I belong together. Now that we have the painting with the symbol, we can really start looking for answers. Wrong, ladies. We better get out of here before our luck runs out. Over there, it's Beth and Marty. Come on. 